Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Uh, there, I just came across another mental filter to do with conspiracy theory that I had run across uh, in the last solar cycle, solar cycle 24, and I came across it again in this solar cycle, as if they repeat at a certain time. Uh, and it's a really scarifying conspiracy theory with, with a, a solution very similar to the last conspiracy theory that I talked about today. It had to do with the mention of the, of the word white brotherhood, and this is a topic that's come up quite a bit recently in my writings. There was a being that came in, most likely not of the white brotherhood, but rather a bedeviling being. Ah a reptilian star race being that, or perhaps insectoid star races, which includes greys. They're very intelligent. This particular being seemed pompous and uh, officious, yes. And also uh, the type of know-it-all being that wants to be in charge of you and tell you what to do and tell you why you shouldn't do what your heart tells you to do, that kind of being. I've been suffering this type of outrage for, for hours today, off and on, starting in the early morning. So I would, my heart would say, I would really love to do this. And then this being would come in, sounding like a very knowledgeable man, right? This being would come in and he would say, no, you can't do that. You have to do, and then he'd come up with the opposite, right? And I would say, well, I'm going to do what my heart tells me to do, and that is that. You can go to some other place like that. Okay, so this kept happening today, and then I was reading something or hearing something, and it, the words white brotherhood came up. And here's a being very attached to that notion of the white brotherhood. Uh, and he was attempting that button in and taking over thing again. So so I said to him, you know, white brotherhood. That's a heresy. The notion that that a spiritual elite can only be white men. That's a complete heresy. They didn't work for very long, but it held him off for a little while. Um, so then, after I did a, a clearing practice, I took a nap. And while I was napping, this, this issue came up that had to do with conspiracy theory, the White Brotherhood, this very being that's maybe a, a reptoid or insectoid, a mental filter, passer honor being, perhaps a human being on Earth, reptoid or insectoid hybrid, um, who who's just keeps showing up on the mental plane, you know, keeps showing up on the astral plane and coming up with this idea that he owns or possesses other human beings and uh, that light workers in particular are members of the White Brotherhood. Now, as a woman, does that fit? No. They say from the outset that they are a brotherhood, not a sisterhood. If they said White Brotherhood and sisterhood, it might be a possibility, except that I believe people of all races and nationalities and cultures might become members of, of the light workers. It's just not it's just not appropriate. It's an old time misqualified type of situation I feel. I feel that very strongly. Although there's much good spiritual teaching in the lodges, the White Lodge and the White Brotherhood, that could be modified in such a way that it would be appropriate for today, I feel. So, so getting on to waking up from sleeping, I had the strangest feeling, like aching and pain all in my upper chest and the top of my body, and a sweeping up of energy that was, that was cutting through um, like a... Um, an entity attachment in my abdomen abdomen at the same time coming through as as this conspiracy theory cleared out of my energy field and it goes like this 
I started to say, Pirtatim, optimize timelines and dimensions for the all through free will. And this officious entity said, no, no, you can't do that. I said, why? It said, because your friend, and it named the name of a person, a man, is in this other timeline. Now, this is an enslavement technique to do with service to others. Okay? The entity might say, your friends, or the people that you care about, are in a particular timeline, and you have to be there with them in order to save them. Is that ever not true? All right. Then it says, okay, if you're in that timeline, I'm the owner of that timeline. You belong to me. And so do they, you know. You, you have no options. There you are, stuck in the causal realm. So, the first thing to understand is when a being says that to you, they're using one timeline and the laws of cause and effect to try to enslave you and bind you down to a particular timeline so that you as a light worker cannot uh, exercise your ascension skills that are, are beyond time and space that have to do with multi-temporality and multi-dimensionality and the ability to be here in the now in the presence of light and love and joy and peace. Okay? So, so you have to say to that being, I am not in that timeline. I am a being of love and light and joy and peace. That brings you into your tenth subtle body where you can experience the now in all its wonders, when you can know that you are pure awareness and that you are not a physical being stuck in, in the physical realm, that you are not dependent on other people, you're dependent on your ascension team. And your ascension team is that which can help you to help everyone else, all the other beings everywhere. They have those skills. This being, this other being that calls himself superior and says that he has the right to enslave you in a particular timeline cannot be so. He might be a lord of karma. He might be uh, one of the insectoid um, uh, star races who is attempting to make you his property and all those other people. So don't fall for the service to others, uh, conspiracy theory. Don't fall for that. Don't become a slave to any superior sounding being. That's what I have to say today. And the, the, um, <laughs> he's, he's stopping me from, from hearing the, the words of my own story. Hold on just a minute. <laughs> Funny guy. Okay, here's what you have to say. You say, spirit to team. Team to teams. Optimize timelines and dimensions for the all through free will. What you're doing is you're from the position of the tenth subtle body the Logos, you are speaking to your Ascension team, requesting that that team speak to the Ascension team of that other person, that friend of yours, the one that he, this other being, this, this person impersonating the White Brotherhood, is you can't save unless you're in chained to time and space. All right? And, and you're... Two teams are working out the appropriate awareness timeline for your friend through his own free will and for the benefit of all beings everywhere. Do you see what I mean? So you have to rise to your ascension tools in the ascension level of your energy field and speak through that and let go of these beings that are attempting to to control us, whoever they may be. If they want to control you, they are not part of your Ascension team. And they're not part of the Ascension team of your friends and family. 
Your sentient team will speak to you of love and light and joy and peace, not of enslavement, not of what you must do, but what, what your heart asks you to do, how your heart, your own heart speaks to you, and that will be your guide. <laughs> Another conspiracy theory bites the dust, the conspiracy theory of selfless service uh, with masters in the white lodge or the white brotherhood and um, possibly insectoid inspired I feel the insect like in, including the man did um, star brothers and sisters not all star brothers and sisters are all that cool we have to choose okay choose the highest and the best the finest and the rarest energy, the ultra light, as others say, the ultra love, the ultra peace, the very highest wisdom has to do with these. <laughs>